Welcome, let's understand the types of utility and the basic aspects under those. So when we talk about utility, I can simply put up it's a want satisfying capacity. So based on the wants that a person has, what is the capacity to satisfy those wants is understood under a utility. This utility could be either a cardinal utility or an ordinal utility. Cardinal utility talks about numbers. On the other hand, ordinal utility talks about ranking. So when I say cardinal utility, we include the total utility and marginal utility under it. When we say ordinal utility, we include the indifference curve under it. So let's first understand what is the total utility and a marginal utility. Total utility is the fixed quantity of commodity that you are trying to consume and which is deriving total satisfaction from the quantity that's given. So this total unit, uh, utility is a function of the quantity. However, this marginal utility is the change in the total utility caused about by one additional unit that is there. So with every additional unit of the commodity, what is the change in the change in the total utility is registered as the marginal utility and that's how we understand the total utility and marginal utility. Then these two fall under the cardinal utility. The next is the ordinal utility. Under ordinal utility, we talk about ranking. So we talk about understanding the indifference curve. So indifference curve means, let's say you have two commodities X and Y. Whatever commodity I am consuming, if it is more of Y and less of X or if it is less of Y and more of X, I am indifferent to it. So either this combination or this combination, either of those combinations, I am okay with it. And that's what is an indifference curve. Now certain specific characteristics of an indifference curve are really important. Indifference curve always moves from left to right and slopes downward. The reason being to attain an extra unit of X, I would have to forego a specific unit of y and that's what is explained under the marginal rate of substitution again if you have numerous indifference curve that are drawn with a higher indifference curve that is there you have greater amount of utility that's there so you would have greater amount of utility for the same item so let's say the quantity for x remains the same in either cases but in this case for y the quantity is this and for uh, this case the quantity is changed so that explains that you are trying to explain the different level of quantity for either cases so higher you go on to an indifference curve you would have more utility and these indifference curves cannot intersect each other so those are some of the basic concepts that we understand under utility the cardinal and the ordinal and under cardinal we talk about total utility and marginal utility under ordinal we talk about indifference curve we'll be coming up with more important lectures in economics stay tuned have a great day ahead